In the question, a balanced reaction is given here. You can see the coefficients are included. Okay, means balanced equation is given. Question says, what will be the equivalent mass of AH2H3 in the above chemical reaction? For this reactant, we have to calculate the equivalent mass. And we have learned the formula of equivalent mass. Equivalent mass is equal to molecular weight divided by n factor value is there. And whenever we have to calculate n factor value, we can calculate n factor value in unbalanced equation also. So these coefficients does not have any meaning in calculating n factor value. So let me write the equation first of all. We have nitrate ion first. Nitrate ion is there. Plus, we have AH2, H3 is there. And then water, it is a solvent. Other side we have AsO4 and it is for 3 minus. And then we have NO is there. NO, okay. And then we have sulfate and SO4 and it is 2 minus. H plus is part of medium. Okay, this will help to calculate N factor value. Now let's calculate n factor value and before calculating n factor value we write down the oxidation number of elements on both sides of the equation. Okay, pay attention very carefully. So you can see if I crisscross these numbers, so 2 will go right side and 3 will go left side, left, left one is always positive and right one is always negative. First one is positive, second one is negative. Making sense? Okay. Arsenic, arsenic. Calculate the oxidation number. 4 to jet minus 3 is there plus 5. Arsenic is present other side in plus 5 oxidation numbers. <coughs> Sulfate ion, you can say 4 to jet minus 2 is there. So sulfur is present in plus 6 oxidation numbers. <coughs> Since we have to we have to calculate n factor value for this substance. In this case, what are the elements are present? Arsenic and sulfur. So we should calculate the difference in oxidation number of arsenic as well as sulfur only. We should not focus on nitrogen. Okay. If I calculate n factor value for this nitrogen, yeah, nitrate ion, then I will think about its oxidation numbers. Okay. Pay attention very careful, carefully. Always balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. Okay, you can see how many arsenic are there. Two, other side, how many arsenic? Only one. So multiplied by two. See, if I multiplied by two here, so number of arsenic are balanced. One arsenic is plus three, and then two arsenic will be what? Plus six oxidation number. One arsenic plus five, then two arsenic will be what? Plus ten is there. Now you find the difference in oxidation number. Increase in oxidation number, increase in oxidation number is always oxidation, remember, and decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction. So you can see plus 6, 2 plus 10. So what is the increase in oxidation number? We have this is what? Plus 6, 2 plus 10. Then so this case 6 minus, no sorry, 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 electron is there. Difference in oxidation number. Now we can calculate the difference in oxidation number of sulfur. First of all, we calculate the oxidation number of sulfur. You can see already calculated. But uh, you can see this is the oxidation number of sulfur only for the one sulfur. You can see one sulfur is what minus two. Then three sulfur multiplied by three. So it will be equal to what minus six is there. Minus two multiplied by three is equal to minus six. Other side, one sulfur. And left side, three sulfur. So I balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. One sulfur is what plus six. Then three sulfur will be what? Three six, yeah, 18. We are getting plus eight. In either. Very interesting concept. Okay. Now we can find the difference in oxidation number. Difference in oxidation numbers. You can see arsenic is undergoing oxidation because increase in oxidation number and sulfur is also undergoing oxidation because there is an increase in oxidation number. Now find the uh, difference in oxidation number. 18 minus 6 is there. So 18 minus minus 6. Difference in oxidation number 18. And this is what minus 6. Find the difference. So the 18 minus minus 6 is equal to what? 18 plus 6. And this is what giving 24 is there. 24. So here we are getting 24 electron is there. 24 electron. Very interesting. Pay attention very carefully. You can see oxidation 4 electron. This is also oxidation 24 electron. Then total number of loss of electron. Oxidation means what? Loss of electron. Then total number of loss electron. Loss of electron 20, 24 plus 4 is equal to what? 28. And a factor value we are getting that is 28. That's it. Your answer is ready. Apply... Equivalent mass is equal to what? Molecular weight divided by n factor. n factor value for this substance we are getting 28. So molecular weight divided by 28. Option D is correct. Very interesting.